you guys the launch of the Xiaomi 12 and Xiaomi 12 Pro. I just got myself some first impressions on the both of the phones and I think both of them come with the 50 megapixels and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So those are the main new uh, factors I've brought into these Xiaomi 12s. I will be getting a slight interview with someone who is uh, more technical and someone that can actually answer all my questions. But currently right now the event's about to start so I don't want to miss out on anything so I'm just going to rush in can now. Can explain a little bit more on the uh, 50 MP triple camera setup and how that's an, a major upgrade for the Xiaomi 12? Okay, cool. Now, uh, why are the hu cameras a huge upgrade this time? So yes, uh, it, on the megapixel side, it looks like you know it's a downgrade. Uh, but with cameras in general, it is uh, actually a lot more than the megapixels. Now, I'm going to start off by talking about the previous 108 megapixels. Huh? So it is a high megapixel count uh, sensor. It is also actually quite a big sensor. So uh, if you remember, it's uh, something around 1 over 1.33 inches. So that's the old, the previous 108 MP. This time, uh, the biggest upgrade for the new 50 megapixel sensor is that the entire sensor size is actually much, much bigger mm. than the, old, the, the previous 108 megapixels. Now, megapixels is one thing, but the sensor size and the individual size of each pixels is actually another thing. So with this new sensor, you are getting one of the biggest sensors available on the smartphone today. If you compare against you know, any mainstream competitor, it is, uh, yeah, the, the new sensor is going to be much bigger. The pixel pitch is going to be much bigger. So you're going to get more dynamic range. You're going to get less noise. The sensor will actually perform uh, better in a lot of under challenging conditions. With the bigger sensor, another thing we are offering, another advantage is that we can offer the Pro Focus technology this time as well. Because the sensor is so much bigger, the sensor is so much bigger, you don't need so much uh, time to capture the shot. So when you know you're taking photos consecutively, when you're using night mode or whatever, you realize that the entire camera system is also faster. Uh, yeah, so it's not the whole thing, but this new sensor is one of the reasons why the new ProFocus technology is possible. So not, not just good quality images, but also fast. I do want to understand about the, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Uh, how much, how much uh, of a contribution does that bring to the competition of photography? Is that, does that play a big role in the quality of videos and photos that come from the 50 megapixels? Definitely. So basically everything works together hand in hand. So with the new Snapdragon, we have had access to a new ISP. So whatever computations, we can do more complex computations. We can do them faster. So uh, as you have already also noticed, uh, we have also had a new ultra night video, our portrait HDR and our portrait night modes, uh, which were presented in the slide earlier. So with this big sensor delivering so much information, uh, the new ISP, they can handle it all at once. And also on top of that, also do more calculations than before, even with so much more data coming in. So definitely it, it, is, a, it is a great help, especially when you're shooting in auto mode, which the, the vast majority of people would do. So I would say definitely, it all goes hand in hand. Uh, thank you, Mr. No worries, my pleasure. Okay, yeah, so that was the event of the launching of the Xiaomi 12 and 12 Pro. Um, I'm most likely to be very excited for the 12 Pro, especially because of its 50 megapixels for all three cameras, which is a very surprising choice for them to, to make. And additional to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, that plays a big part in how computational photography will be playing in the Xiaomi 12 and 12 Pro. So we will be getting the phones very, very soon, but this is more of a first impression type of video and trying to understand about the plans behind Xiaomi and what they have in store for new phones coming out and also possibly, possibly a 12 Ultra. So that might come very soon as well. But currently right now, the, the main talks is the uh, Xiaomi 12 and 12 Pro. Um, 12 Pro, that's definitely going to sell very, very well. Considering it's still under under four thousand ringgit, I mean, we just got the price earlier, and how it's still marketed for a flagship, but still 
keeping it to under the price uh, of under 4,000. Currently, we have no no information whether whether there will be a 512 gigs for the for the Xiaomi 12 Pro. I've given my feedback as much as I could with Xiaomi and tell them that since it is a content creator's uh, phone, then a 512 gig would have would have been nice to have considering if you're shooting in 4K or 8K. Those are gonna eat up a lot of uh, storage capacity and yeah, we don't have any information on that, but most likely once we do, we will, we will be sharing it with you guys as well. So yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed that first impressions and yeah, stay tuned for the review that's coming up very, very soon. Till then, thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.